Hi, my name's Fraser. I'm from electricsandlighting.co.uk. We are going to put a short video together to try and explain to you guys uh, about LED low energy lighting and why you should be looking to invest in it, what it does for you and why it's so good. We put our first video together about nine months ago and it did really well on YouTube. We got a lot of emails back and feedback from you guys telling us it was definitely worthwhile. So this video now is about nine months, a year later. We're going to show you some of the new products on the market. A lot of the leading manufacturers out there have produced some really good stuff in the last 12 months. There's a lot of exciting products coming out as well. I'm going to be answering some questions in there that we get asked in the shop and the trade counter. Um, hopefully what we're going to be doing in the video is giving you a bit of peace of mind when you're looking at spending your money on LED as to why it's a viable option and exactly what it does for you. So next I'm going to show you some of the good products that have come out in the last nine months. As a leading online supplier of LED lighting and as an electrical wholesaler, we take new products on the market very seriously. And what we use this case for here is for testing new products. So when a manufacturer or a rep comes into us with a new LED and tells us the lumens and the wattage and the consumption and the output, we obviously test that thoroughly before we put it on the shelf and before we push it on to you. We also use this case for our on-site visits. We do a bespoke light design service, mainly for hotels, bars and restaurants. So what we, the reps on the road, do is we take this flight case out with us. What this case can do is it can tell you voltage, amperage, wattage, lumens, consumption, everything. It's got an array of different lamp holders on. They can all be turned on and off individually. It's an invaluable tool for us really when we're talking to new clients about using LED lighting. We can do an old V new. So we can take their existing lighting, we can take a bulb out of it and we put it in the, in the box and then we can show them what they're obviously looking to invest their money in as a, as a replacement. Uh, they can see the wattage of their old lamps versus the wattage of the new ones and then we can do a comparable saving for them. So I'm gonna be using this box in the next couple of minutes to show you the new products out on the market the brightness and the different colour temperatures. The first two things we get asked mainly over the trade counter and via email is what is lumens and what is Kelvin because everything always used to be measured in wattage and now they've sort of changed it over to lumens. Customers aren't really sure exactly what that means. Well lumens is how efficient a light source is at producing actual light output from consumed wattage. So to give you an example, a 50 watt GU10 halogen lamp which is almost probably the most popular lamp currently used in the UK is 400 lumens on paper. What they didn't tell you with that is about 10% of the light goes backward and maybe 5 to 8% of the light is actually in the infrared colour spectrum. So it's not actually visible to the naked eye. So the magic number you're looking for is around 350. The second question is what is Kelvin? Well Kelvin is the colour rendition of the light. If you go outside on a really warm sunny day with a light meter you'll find readings of around 8000 Kelvin higher the number the bluer the light so it's called daylight the lower the number the yellower the light so a street light for example of an evening is 2500 2600 kelvin so if you're looking to replace your halogen lamps at home with led you want to be looking for 3000 kelvin if you want to go slightly bluer which i will show you the different colors in a minute you want to be looking for 4000 or even five or six thousand kelvin this will make your room look a lot crisper and cleaner i definitely recommend a bluer light for a bathroom or a kitchen but for a bedroom and a living space i definitely recommend a warm and white because it makes the place look more cozy and a lot more lived in. As I said the three main colour temperatures that are on the market at the moment are warm white, natural white and cool white. Starting at the beginning warm white is 3000 Kelvin so if you're looking to replace your halogen lamps at home like for like you want to go for a warm white light. You'll see that's quite a yellowy light and a lot of people are used to that in their homes at the moment. Moving up the colour spectrum, the next one is 4000 Kelvin. This is 1000 Kelvin higher than the one I just showed you. This is known as natural white in the industry. As you'll see, it's slightly bluer. So the effect that that will have on your room is it will make colours look a little bit more crisper. If you're selling clothes, you've got a retail outlet, it will make everything look a little bit crisper in the shop. And the last one is cool white. This is 5000 Kelvin. You can get them up to 6000 Kelvin if you really want a cold light. These were first introduced as seasonal effect disorder lamps, SAD lamps, and they were for people with depression because subconsciously you're happier living and working under a colder light because you think you're outside. This is our recommendation for anybody with a shop or anybody with a bathroom or a kitchen looking to make the place look really crisp and clean. If for example you had a granite worktop and you had a slate floor and you put a yellow 
warm white light on it, the colours would not look their true colours. They would look very saturated and very yellowy. If you go and put a cool white light, like I've just shown you, in the same space, the floor will come alive. All the greys, all the oranges, all the flecks in the granite will completely show their true colours. So if, as I said, you're looking to light or change your lighting in your bathroom or kitchen, that's our strong recommendation right there. What I want to do now is talk to you about how the technology has really progressed well over the last 12 months. When LED first came out, it was a single chip unit like this. Now the problem with this lamp was actually, believe it or not, the heat. Hence down the side you've got the fins to try and dissipate as much heat away from the head of the lamp as possible. The failure rate on these was between 3 and 5%. They were warranted by the manufacturers, but it's still an inconvenience for you guys to have to long distance return something or go back to a shop. After they developed the single chip, they put three chips together. This was when the lumen output really became good and it was a viable option for people to replace their halogen lamps with LED. Well, about six months ago, a SMD LED technology came out. So they almost went back a stage with reference to the number of chips used in the head, but the surface mount display of the LEDs means there's no heat sink. This consumes 3 watts and gives you the same output as a 50 watt lamp. So this is a 96% saving on electricity. To give you some figures of exactly what we're achieving in returns at the moment, to date we've sold 2,400 of these lamps. I've sent 6 back to the manufacturer. This is less than 1%. So in terms of reliability, this is by far the best we've seen on the market. And they've just launched the dimmable version. It came out approximately a month ago. They've put a new chip inside which was developed by Philips will work on, we've been told, any dimmer, and to date we've sold over 500 and I've had none back. We test them thoroughly on our box and in our showroom on the different dimmers that we sell. We know Aurora, GET, Hamilton, MK, Crabtree, all of those dimmers will dim it, even on one, and we've been told the maximum number of these you can use on a circuit is 19. So if you're looking to make a new installation, you can save a fortune and you can even have even brighter lighting off of one dimmer. As I'm sure you know, incandescent lamps were banned in 2008. This means that the government is trying to push you into going low energy. This is why we're putting the video together to try and explain to you the benefits of going LED over fluorescent. So some other products on the market at the moment, which are worth looking at, are the introduction of the first 60 watt equivalent GLS lamp. This consumes 8 watts, is available in BC and ES. The light from LED is instant unlike the fluorescents which take a little while to warm up and they've also just launched a dimmable version of this. All the qualities we just talked about will work on any dimmer switch etc. Then we've got the candle lamp. They've just bought out a 5 watt one of these which is ever so slightly brighter. We're waiting for the stock to come into the UK at the moment. The one you're seeing now consumes 3 watts and gives you approximately 30 watts. The new one coming out is 40 watt output with a 5 watt consumption. These are clear. So as you'll see they're not that bad to look at in comparison to the fluorescent lamps which are currently on the market. They actually look quite nice in a chandelier and the lights instant again. Dimmables will be coming out shortly. You've got your standard GU10 lamp which is probably the most popular lamp in the UK at the moment and then you've got your little G4 that consumes 1 watt and gives you 10 watt output. These products are always coming out on the market and as a leading supplier of LED lighting we make it our key focus to get to all the lighting shows and make sure that the products we have on the website, in the shop and in stock are the best on the market. So a good place to start to have a look if ever you're interested is our website and we're always available on the phone to chat to or just send us an email if there's any product that you want to talk about or you feel we should know about. Right, this is our website, electricsandlighting.co.uk. What I'm going to do quickly is just show you how to navigate the site and where to look for the low energy lamps we've discussed in today's video. This is a home page, as you'll find it. There's a lot of icons, etc., on the home page, but where you're looking to go is the top left hand side to light bulbs and accessories. If you click on that, it takes you through to an inner page which asks you, obviously, if you're looking for an accessory, a standard light bulb, or an energy saving lamp. So you're going to be looking for energy saving lamps. So you click on the image of the energy saving lamp. Then it asks you what type of lamp you're looking for. The options are LED, compact fluorescent and halogen. There is a low energy lighting explained down here, which will give you some of the frequently asked questions on our website. So as you can obviously refer to that, the main section you're going to be concentrating on is LED energy saving. So if you click on that icon, 
it then asks you what type of lamp because obviously there's a lot on the market so we didn't want to just chuck them all in the one section the main one you're going to be looking at is obviously the GU10 which is the top icon there once you click on that icon it will ask you or show you uh, what type of lamps and effectively ask you which one you're looking for. Uh, the best ones as they come out filter to the top of these categories. So as we talked about the SMD GU10 LED, they're the best out at the moment. They supersede the three cluster LEDs which we said in the video we had a slightly higher returns rate on. So the SMD being the best out at the moment is the top one. If you click on the image or more info, it will give you any indication of bulk buy rate over here. So if there's deals to be had or better quantity discounts, we advertise them there. All of our low energy lamps come with free shipping. This is indicated by an icon there. Normally you have to spend 99 pounds to get free shipping, but irrelevant of whether or not you order one or 100 from us, we will deliver it to you for free. There is a guaranteed price beater. If you do find a product the same on somebody else's website, we will beat it. We have our phone numbers and technical support numbers here as well. All of the information about the lamp is below in the more information. Again, if anything here isn't answered or you want to ask anything, there are callback forms on the website. You can ask us a question or you can even recommend this product to a friend by quickly clicking there and entering their email address. If you get any problems at all, just pick up the phone and one of our sales team will talk you through the website at home and the checkout procedure is very simple. It all gets run through Secure Hosting, which is an HSBC accredited site and all of our payments get run through that. The following manufacturers are producing the best range of LED light fittings and lamps out in the UK at the moment. They include Robus, Collingwood, Halers, Aurora, Planet LED, Knightsbridge, or also known as ML Accessories, and Philips. All of these manufacturers we deal directly with, so if there's any specific product you'd like us to get in for you, this is not a problem, and you'll find a great selection of their stuff both in-store and on our website.